My husband has been clapping my sister's cheeks when I'm not around. Forgive me if it's confusing in places, I'm still shaking and confused by the whole situation. So, my husband, 30M, and I, 27F, have been together for 6 years, living together, and have a 5-week-old daughter. My sister, 21F, and I have had a very close relationship since my parents haven't always been the best or supportive figures in our lives. We clung together, and I would even consider myself the mother and father figure in her life. My partners and my relationship has been fairly strained since my daughter was born. He would stay late at work, be dismissive when I wanted to communicate our feelings, and huff and puff when I tended to our daughter. I had a fairly rough pregnancy and a quite traumatic birth, so my libido and overall body confidence are scarce. I don't feel like being intimate most days, and my partner would give me the silent treatment, but I never worried about him being unfaithful. I was feeding my daughter on the couch tonight with my husband sitting next to me, we were both watching TV, and his phone kept vibrating. I had a feeling something wasn't right with the amount of notifications and how quickly he would answer. He got up to go to the bathroom, and this time he didn't take his phone with him. I grabbed it, put the passcode in, and had a look at who the messages were coming from. It was my sister. Before I looked at the messages, my heart dropped, and my heart was in my mouth when I started looking at the messages. There were explicit photos, dirty text messages, and a conversation about how I'm not putting out like I used to, which was a knife in my chest. They had met about four times, which I realized were the times when I was taking myself to the doctor for scans and checkups and getting shopping for my grandparents. I am beyond distraught. I have no idea what to do, where to go, and how to go about confronting them. I feel like my whole world has come crashing down. I have lost my husband and my sister. Update 1. A lot has come out, a lot has been said, and now it's all out on the table. I called an aunt of mine after I posted and saw some comments saying I should have a friend or family member by. I packed a bag for my baby, bringing bottles and other necessities for a short stay with my aunt, who's been close by during the pregnancy and knows how to look after my baby. I don't want my child in the house while I talk about this. My husband was confused and was asking why I was only packing stuff for her. I told him to wait and he would soon find out. I texted my sister, come over right now. She pushed for more information, called me, but I just messaged her to get over here. It took her about 15 minutes to arrive, and my aunt came and took my daughter in that time. My husband was getting increasingly worried. When my sister pulled up, my husband's expression changed drastically. The sudden look of realization hit him, and he started crying. My sister came in, and I told her to sit down. I did as you all asked, I took pictures of the chat, her number, and all the contents that were on the chat. I pulled it up on the smart TV and told them both to tell me what the frick had been going on. Admittedly, I did look quite insane, but I didn't care. She started crying, he started saying he was sorry over and over. I explained how they had broken me, how I raised my sister and gave my husband a daughter, and this is how they repaid me. They confessed that it had been happening for at least seven months. He was intimate with her in our bed a couple of times, and they said it wasn't like they were in love with each other. I'm getting a lawyer in the morning because he's also confessed to kissing a co-worker. I'll be picking my daughter up in an hour and he's currently packing his belongings while my sister is crying and begging me to not disown her. I'm ignoring it while I'm writing this. Really, I can only depend on myself at this time, and separating is the only option for me because I don't want my daughter thinking men can do this to her. He's begging me, and they are both begging me, but I'm not cracking. They made their bed, they can lie in it. Update 2. That night, I was in shock, and I just wanted to get away from them all. I wanted them out of my house and out of my vision. There was a lot of trying to persuade me, apologizing, crying, and it was chaos. My partner left with things in a bag and presumably went to his mother's, and he's yet to make a return. My sister was quite distraught, and I felt she was truly sorry, but it doesn't make what happened go away. She left not long after, and I collected my daughter. It was a Christmas that didn't feel much like Christmas, and I spent it with my daughter alone. I cried a lot, ate a lot, and decided to send my sister contact details for a therapist my therapist had recommended. I want to give her the space we both need right now and following on from the suspected grooming going on from when she was younger with my partner, just assumptions at this point, it's her chance to open up about it if that was the case. As for my partner, he has not messaged me, asked about our daughter or anything that I would have expected. His mother has removed me from all social media, and I haven't tried the number to see if she has blocked me. I honestly think he got up and ran and used his mother as a bunker. All the legal divorce stuff is underway, and I'm currently focusing on myself and my daughter. It's deeply upsetting, and it all caught up to me a few days after, but I'm doing better now. Update 3. The divorce is up and running, and he has signed the papers but won't come back to the house or see his daughter. My sister is a no-show too, and from unpopular demand, I have tried to bridge the gap slightly, but with no avail. I'm just accepting he has literally up and ran and won't be back anytime soon. He has been messaging me with really worrying messages, though. He asked if I was alone in the house one night, and I said no because it just felt right to say that, it was really strange to be woken up by that at that time. There was no follow-up text after that. 
He hasn't asked about our daughter or even the divorce proceedings, he just says, hey, every so often, but I'm keeping low contact for now, so I'm not replying often and only to important things. He hasn't overtly attempted reconciliation, not that I want to, he's just acting off. One day he messaged me, it's time now, and then said nothing else for a few days. When he did message again, it was just, hey. There are messages that have been removed by him that I didn't see, but they're usually past midnight. You know when you can feel someone's personality through text? Especially when you've known someone for a while? I can't really explain it, but it's weird, and it's like he's a different person. My daughter and I are loving life right now and are thriving. Just really want to know your thoughts on these random messages.